Fires here on the West Coast, hurricanes and tropical storms near the Gulf Coast and more. Many say these events have been bigger and more frequent recently than in the past. And joining us to talk about how exactly that could be playing a role in recent events, Scripps Institute of Oceanography Professor Vera Bhadran Ramanathan, who has been studying climate change for decades. Professor Ramanathan, welcome. Thank you very much. So we know we have extreme temperatures in California in the western United States. We've also had fires up and down California as well as Oregon, Washington State. President Trump has made clear he thinks that forest management is central problem here. What do you see when you see what's going on? Clearly, there is a connection between climate change and these extreme weathers uh, we are experiencing, both in the East Coast and the West Coast. So uh, let me just briefly talk about what's the connection uh, between the climate change and fires. Uh, the planet as a whole has warmed close to about uh, two degrees Fahrenheit, and California a little bit larger, about two and a half degrees. We know from basic physics that you heat the planet, heat the surface, the moisture leaves the surface, it evaporates a lot more. So what does that mean? Our leaves, our trunks, our trees, and the soil is getting drier. And this drying is superposed on cyclical things and management issues, if there are any. But the connection between warming and drying is a chronic chain. It's happening all the time and it's getting progressively worse. You mentioned so that expert, go ahead. the temperature Sorry. in California has risen some two and a half degrees over yes. a period of decades. And yes. many would hear that and think, well, two and a half degrees, I can barely tell the difference day to day if the temperature were to change that much. But that's enough to create a difference that makes us much drier and more susceptible to fires than if we were two and a half degrees cooler? Absolutely. And uh, just to give you one connection, is that just uh, basic physics tells you that two and a half degree warming should be increasing the evaporation from the soil by about 10%. So this loss of moisture from the soil is having is happening every second, every minute, every day, every month throughout the year. And it's getting worse and worse and worse with years. We have heard that there could be a tipping point from the beginning of this uh, climate warming aspect and that once you reach that tipping point, there is no going back. Do you buy into that? And how close would you say we are we are to that? Uh, that's going to be very tough for anyone to predict when the tipping point will happen. There are tipping points, but what I can tell you is that the warming we have experienced until now is going to increase by 50% within 10 to 12 years. And with that, the extreme weathers we are experiencing will also get worse. So I think we uh, Californians, after all this crisis is over between the forest fires and pandemic, we have to get together and discuss and develop a plan. How are we going to protect Californians from this uh, uh, climate disaster, which is going to get worse and worse and please at least until the next 10, 15 years. Yeah, and many would say Californians and the rest of the world. Uh, yes. Professor Vera Bhadran Ramanathan with the Scripps Institute of Oceanography, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you.